Experts have said that the 21st century will be the century of the life sciences. But until recently, the national security community has often overlooked both the biological sciences and biotechnology. In a post-pandemic world, however, the national security community will need to rethink its biosecurity strategy, and emerging technologies like synthetic biology will play a critical role. Synthetic biologists use engineering principles to design, build, and manufacture biological systems and products. In this field, engineers think about biology as code. And just like software code, engineers can read, write, and edit genetic code. In 2016, then-director of National Intelligence James Clapper suggested that gene editing technology, like CRISPR, should be considered a weapon of mass destruction. And while synthetic biology capabilities like CRISPR do pose risks to national security, opportunities also exist to leverage this technology for good. For example, scientists today are using synthetic biology to intentionally design coronavirus vaccines. Synthetic biology capabilities can also be used to manufacture medicines, food, fuel, and other materials like spider silk. Spider silk, for example, is of particular interest to the U.S. Army because it is lightweight and strong and could one day be used as body armor. More broadly, synthetic biology is an emerging driver of the growing bioeconomy, which according to the National Academies makes up 5% of the U.S. gross domestic product, or over $900 billion. As economic and national security are increasingly intertwined and shaped by technology, synthetic biology is poised to emerge as a critical enabler of both economic competitiveness and future national and health security.